Hey guys, uh, welcome to another Photoshop tutorial here on psdevout.com uh, YouTube channel. And this is just a, a quick tutorial to show you how you can sort of achieve this uh, nice uh, fiery and uh, and sparks effect around this uh, text. Um, I had the uh, the full tutorial on psdevout.com main site. Um, so this is just a, a just a complimentary um, video tutorial to show you some of the uh, exact uh, steps, um, just in case you have any trouble. All right, let's uh, get started. So I'm just gonna go into this uh, layered uh, PSD file here. Um, as you can see, I have already um, had a, a text layer uh, made up here. Um, um, this is uh, just a a basic uh, text layer with uh, a number of uh, blending options. Um, uh, I won't be going into details regarding how to uh, create this text here. Uh, I'm just going to be focusing on how to apply the uh, the fire the fire textures and the sparks onto the text. So we're just going to go into this uh, stock image here. Um, okay. So firstly. Which is going to select the lasso tool, which, which is going to also set the feather to 30 pixels. Uh, we'll make a selection like this. Uh, we're just going to copy that selection and we'll paste that above the text. Okay, and uh, we're going to just hit the Ctrl T. Uh, we're just going to reduce the size a, bit, a little bit and compress down a little bit as well with the free transform tool. Hit and hit the enter to apply that. Alright, so um, we're just going to go into the uh, go into this layer. And we're just gonna set this layer as a clipping mask to a to this text layer. So we right click on that, and go into create cl uh, create uh, clipping mask. Now, as you can see, we have a we have a fairly nice uh, fire texture overlay to this layer. Okay. And now we're just going to repeat this step. Uh, we're going to choose the rectangular marquee tool. Uh, we're just going to drag the selection to a different part of the fire texture. And it's going to hit Control plus C. Uh, we're just going to paste that above that layer again. And uh, we hit Control plus T and free transform that a little bit just to uh, make that slightly um, smaller and we're gonna apply that um, again we're gonna make that a clipping mask and just repeat that a few more times uh, this time we'll, cho we'll choose this part Control plus C and uh, Control plus V to paste that, and then free transform that, and this time we wanted to stretch that a little bit. Um, all right, we're just gonna make that a clipping mask as well, um, and we want to. Just free transform the second layer a little bit so that covers the T as well. Just uh, move that across that a little bit as well. Yeah, so we have a fairly nice um, fire uh, burning from the bottom of the text. Um, you can you can adjust um, the uh, contrast of th of the uh, the fire texture a little bit. Um, if you go into image uh, adjustments, I'm gonna use the levels adjustments tool. Um, so that will increase the um, contrast of this fire texture a little bit. All right. So 
that's pretty much it for the overlay. Um, what we can do now is we can go back to the file texture again. Uh, we're gonna just um, choose some of the um, other parts of the texture. Uh, for example, that one. I'm just gonna hit Control Plus C again. Uh, this time we'll be adding some textures just behind the text. Alright, we're just going to paste that in there. Alright, so we're just going to make them sm slightly smaller as well. And hit enter. I'm just gonna make that jack that I'll jack drag that um, selection up a little bit. Uh, yeah, so we got some fires burning behind the text as well. Um, we might want to uh, tidy up the the uh, the bottom part a little bit with uh, just a soft eraser tool. Um, just gently erase some from some part of the um, fire. Yes, yeah, so um, as you can see, I have a couple of more fire layers underneath of the uh, text as well. So this is just a, a repetition of uh, of the first step. Um, basically, you go back to the uh, fire image and select a few more pieces, and then you and then you paste that just behind the text layer. Um, yeah, so that's the the uh, the fire part of the um, of the uh, text. Uh, all right, so we we'll now um, as we we'll now be adding uh, some of the uh, the sparks uh, effect. Uh, so um, just to make the 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 overall effect more dramatic, uh, to create some sort of burning uh, and melting effect. Um, as you can as you can see um, on this image, there's a couple of fairly nice bits and pieces underneath here. Um, so again, we will we'll use the lasso tool. Uh, this time, we wanted to re just reduce the feather a little bit down. Um, just get it, just set it to maybe around about around about 20 pixels. All right, so we're just gonna select a just a piece like that. And we, we're just going to hit uh, Control Plus C again, and this time we'll be we'll be paste that pasting that just above the text or the text layer. All right, so and if you see any any files any file texture on the edge, just uh, use a, a eraser tool just to get rid of those ones. All right, we'll be just putting those ones just above the the text layer. Um, all right, so very important this part. Um, so what you need to do is to change the layer blending mode from normal to lighten. Now, as you can see, we've got some uh, fairly nice uh, sparks here. Now. They may not be quite visible right now, so what you need to do is just go into sharpen, and then we're going to use the uh, sharp mask, uh, which is going to apply a bit of uh, unsharp mask uh, filter to make the sparks be sharpened. All right, so. So okay, we applied for that 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 unsharp mask filter once. Uh, we're just gonna reapply that a few more times. You can do that just by uh, Control uh, plus F, uh, or just go into filter and then just click on sharp mask. 
So yeah, so as you can see, we've we've got a, a fairly um, sharp uh, sparks here. Um, so I'll just show you the effect uh, before and after. So this is the effect without the unsharp unsharp mask filter. This is the effect after the unsharp mask filter. All right, so we have a fairly nice uh, sparks here. We just wanted to add a few more. So we duplicate this layer a few more times. So just do that once. Drag that, and then we're gonna rotate that a few, like that, just to add some variety on the image. And also we can also just distort that a little bit. So that creates a like a flying, flying effect. So just increase, just increase the depth a little bit. Yeah, so we can use the move tool just to adjust the angles and all that. I'm just gonna make that one more time. Move that around this part of the text. Uh, again, again, we're just gonna rotate, rot rotate that, um, and uh, we're just gonna use the this tool tool again. Uh, I'm just gonna use just make that slightly angled. All right, so yeah, we have um, some of some of the nice uh, sparks effect just over the text. Uh, you can use the unsharp mask filter again uh, just to make that sparks feel a bit more visible. But um, yeah, so as you can see, I have a few um, fire sparks layer here. Um, this is just to, for some extra effect. Uh, I'm just gonna turn it off and you can see, so you can see. Yeah, so this is just a repetition of all the all, all the uh, the previous um, steps. Yeah, so uh, that's pretty much it. Um, uh, that's for the just just um, as a final uh, reminder. Um, make sure um, when you apply the textures, textures uh, just check their blending mode. Um, always remember to if you if you if you um, see something is not right, uh, check your blending mode. Uh, sometimes the normal blending mode needs to be changed into some other blending mode to, to in order to reveal the content underneath. Yeah, so um, always remember that one. All right, so that's it for this tutorial. Uh, hope you enjoyed it, and uh, we'll see you next time. Thank you.